moving they tricked up. Huh? Oh, what do you think? You're not, not, you're not gonna like it not too much too soon. <laughs> Cause stuff's gonna start moving and you're going in a pen. And then you're going in a bag. And then you're going in a car. And then you're going to a strange place and you are going to be very mad. <laughs> Home sweet home. This has been a total freak show. I'll explain that later. My feet, they bleed. They bleed. Why do your feet bleed? Might want to see a doctor about that. All right, we're gonna put Pandora in the bathroom while we get all this stuff straightened out. And you can, well. No, if you make a break for it, I want you to have your harness on. Um, okay. Here we go. You got Perry the Pterodactyl. The Pterodactyl. And then I'll come and bring you some stuff. Okay. Uh, I know you're going to want to hide, but like, I really don't want... Oh yeah, you peed on that. You peed on that. Good. Um, I don't want you chewing on this. Okay, babe. I'll be back, okay? You stay there. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh, don't do that. There we are. We're home. <laughs> Go exploring. Got a lot of work to do. So I put the dresser in place, so now I can start putting stuff on top of that. I want the bed to go over there. They're out picking up my bed frame right now. And the desk is going over here. As for everything else, it's debatable. <laughs> I've got to put this rug down for her, because... Bunnies don't have pads on the bottom of their feet like cats and dogs do, so she's just slipping and sliding. <laughs> just slipping and sliding. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I need to get these cords up. I have no idea what these are. What even are these? Someone's gonna be like, uh, duh, Lilith, it's this. What the hell? What even are you? I don't even know if I want you. Why are you here? That could be a problem. Why is it attached to, like, the building itself? Where even are you? Maybe upside down, stupid. That helps. Antronics two way well, that tells me nothing. Oh, this says Roger. Like, cable or some crap? We don't want cable. Who wants cable? Cable sucks. <laughs> I like this flower painting. It was here when we got here. I don't know if the people before left it behind. I mean, well, it must have been, like... I like it, but, like, at the same time, I'm going to have to put a lot of shelving on the walls. I'm gonna do, like, some hanging, like, a hanging closet, basically, because there's no closet in here. But I do like it. It's very pretty. Where'd you go, stinker bun? There you are. What do you think? Hmm? She's like, I don't know where I am. It's okay. It's home. It's home. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Story time while I put this, some of this crap away.
show. Most of it I probably won't, but um, basically it's one big short show this morning. And one massive freaking anxiety attack. Well, no, not one massive, like several massive, because everyone, well, practically everyone in this family has major anxiety and depressive disorders. And not just, you know, you know, you know like everybody has anxiety these days, but like actual clinic, clinically and medicated anxiety disorders, okay? This is no, this is no just little, little normal anxiety. This is like full on, like, we can seem psychotic and it got to that point, but in our defenses, we had a reason because we got a, well, I shouldn't say we, I had no choice in the matter, but like, it's not my choice, like, the way I say that, said that makes it sound like, oh, I didn't get to choose. No, it, I like, had no want, really, to get involved. I mean, if it were my choice, I probably would have ordered a U-Haul and then found someone who drives, you know, someone, friend, family friend, who can drive it, you know, pay them however much for helping us drive it, because we can't drive well, my grandma drives, but she can't drive a big thing like that. And, anyways, squirrel. So we, my mom, gets a moving company. And they make the whole agreement. She has it all in writing, very thorough agreement. And she made extra sure because we are a welfare family forward to be, you know, to not be sure on how much we're expected to pay. Well, we get the entire truck loaded up, and suddenly these guys are telling us that instead of the $300 we thought it was going to be, we now owe them $1,500. If you are a welfare family or know a welfare family, you know that ain't gonna fly. That is going to, like, well, not put us on the streets because, you know, we just got to have a Fan fell over. Um, yeah, and that, no, just no. So, my poor grandparents, like, if it weren't for them, I don't know what the hell we would have done, but they were able to help us pay them. And, Dora, don't you want that? You know, gave them this huge wad of cash, which I got on film. Her, my grandma counting out the cash and handing it over to the guy. Because, at this point, we have been put through the ringer and, you know, like, my mom made very, very sure. It's not just that she was confused and didn't realize how much it was going to be. She made very, very sure that she knew how much she was expected to pay. She thought, you know, maybe it might go a little bit over, but not like that. I'm getting sidetracked and just talking. Um, but, yeah, uh, long story short, we're suing them, or my mom wants to sue them for, like, if it were just a little bit of difference, it wouldn't matter, but this was, this is massive hitting the box. and, like, I'm very harsh, I feel maybe a little too harsh, and they felt that they were awesome. Personally, I wanted to tell these three guys to shut the hell up and just do what we tell you. Like, I told them three times. What we did with my dresser here is we packed up stuff in the drawers, we took the drawers down individually, and then we had them help us bring this down.
but I had to fight to help them bring this down. I took all the drawers down, and they're like, okay, so these drawers are going in the truck, and I'm like, no, we need to take the dresser shell itself down, and then we need to put all the drawers back in it in the truck. Wouldn't listen to me. And then my grandma's like, Lilith, because I was like, I was getting like quite short with them, but I had told them three times of what we were doing, and at that point, they're talking to my grandma about it, I'm like, no, I just told you. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No <laughs> shower. Um, holy crap, that's heavy. <laughs> them, which, reasonable things, like, we wanted to pay half up front and pay half when we got here, and they're like, no, 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 and we're like, okay, what happens if you just decide to take the truck and haul butt, what's a YouTube friendly word for that, haul, haul apricot? All apples? Anyways. <laughs> we ended up giving them all the money before we left. And then we were supposed to follow them. And if we didn't have Google Maps on the phone, we would have gotten really lost because even though we asked them to make sure that we were following them, we completely lost them, had no idea where we were. And I pulled up Google Maps and was basically pay, played GPS from the back seat. But, yeah. $1,500 to drive not even an hour away with a truck half full of stuff. I mean, if we had known it was going to cost that much, okay, fine. I don't know why you would choose that company if you knew it was going to cost that much, because, like, really? But, yeah, and it just kept getting worse and worse, because then, like, again, welfare family, we don't have that money sitting in the bank. I have some money sitting aside, but I'm currently unemployed. Besides the reborns. So, like, my grandma's like, okay, it's fine, we're stuck now, the truck is loaded up, we will put it on our credit card. And, you know, that makes my mom and I feel really guilty. Because, you know, and, you know, she just got laid off, too. And probably isn't going back to work, because she's 65. But... I mean, I don't know what we would have done without them. But when she said, we'll put it on the credit card, they're like, oh, no, we can't take credit card. And I'm thinking, how can you be charging people over $1,500 and not take credit cards? Who just has that sitting in their bank? said she's going to sue them. I don't know if she's going to go through with it. I think we have a case. Um, I don't know anything about any of that, but personally, I think we have a case to make. A reasonable case to make. I don't think we're overreacting. But I probably won't get much involved with that process. If we do, I'll be more focused finding a job and putting my life together. Um, do I have any more small boxes? I don't think I do. I'm going to have to start cutting short open. Of 
hours, you know. Obviously, Mom went into full-on anxiety attack. Could not blame her whatsoever. And then I went into full-on anxiety attack. Like, because, like, at first I'm like, I have no idea why I'm going into an anxiety attack. Like, obviously it's stressful, but, like... What am I going to do about it? And then I realized that's why I was going into an anxiety attack because we were faced with this situation and there was absolutely nothing I could do to help. So, you know, I'm standing there crying like a baby into my grandpa's chest. favorite part about it is when, you know, because we had already had a bunch of problems with the company, I was like, okay, I'm not letting my grandmother hand over this massive wad of cash and not have evidence that it was handed over because, you know, if you're just handing someone a wad of cash, there's no transaction record. So, you know, I'm, you know, filming them. Like, I was kind of trying to hide the fact that I was filming and trying to make it seem like maybe I just had a camera in my hand. But, you know, he's standing there talking to my grandma, and then he says something about, I didn't hear exactly what he said, but I heard something about me and video. And I'm like, at that point, I'm just like, hell yeah, I'm videoing you. If this money goes somewhere and there's no transaction, I don't want, I want there to be evidence that payment have taken place, and I filmed from the moment that my grandma got cash out to the moment that she pocketed it, just because I don't want there to be any excuse for this company to screw us over even more, and, you know, dealing with people and a company like this are the exact reasons why I would never use a moving company and would rather just deal with the pain of having to move all this furniture and crap and just to avoid dealing with more people and you know having severe social anxiety and having a very very hard time trusting anybody can sometimes be a hindrance in life however when you don't trust people really easily you have a very low chance of being screwed over so <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. I just heard the rabbit freak out. She's like, what was that? This house has demons. Oh yeah, speaking about demons, a poltergeist slammed the door on my hand. Just kidding, it was the wind. But yeah, for a split second I thought I broke my finger. That would have made an interesting vlog. Where did the seat to this bouncer chair go? I put it in the truck in one piece and it came back in pieces. Don't know how that happened. But yeah, it was it was the whole mess. It was the whole mess this morning. Look at this little monkey. Dora! Dora! Pandora! Pandora! Hey, Stinker! How'd you get over there? Hmm? How'd you get in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. The fiasco with this one. 
you know, this, this, this thing over here. That's her carrier over there. I had ordered it off, I ordered it off of Amazon. It's very nice, or at least it was. She's going to need a plastic kettle because she chewed right through it. I put her in there, you know, while we were moving all the big furniture out of my room because I didn't, like, she would get in the way and I was afraid that, you know, these movers weren't, uh, like, in my opinion, they weren't listening to us. So, or they certainly weren't listening to me, at least. So I was afraid that, you know, like, they would be moving something like my massive dresser and I'd be like, watch the rabbit, watch the rabbit, and then they would just, like, step on her face and keep going. But <laughs> maybe that's an exaggeration. But, you know, I put her in the carrier, and all of a sudden, I look back, and I see that little face and those little ears sticking out the corner of the carrier. She chewed a hole right through it. So, you know, I think I'll leave a review on, on Amazon, like, not meant for rabbits, which it was labeled as a small dog and cat carrier anyways, so, but no one claimed it was for rabbits, but I thought, you know, it would, it would do just fine. No, she needs a plastic kennel. I was trying, where'd you go? Freaking Houdini. <laughs> Poof, she's gone. I was trying to buy her a nice, you know, nice, really good, comfy carrier. Like, it has the reusable pee pad in there, and then, like, the sides open up to make it bigger. But no, she had to chew a hole through the damn thing and escape. So the whole way there, I'm holding a hand over top of it so she doesn't spring out and, you know, spring out and cause a traffic collision, traffic collision, who says it like that, cause a car crash, because, you know, she'd spring out and into my grandma's lap or something, stinker, so I had to lock her in the closet, well, first I tried to, first I put her on her harness, and, um, tied up the harness to something in the corner, but then she almost strangled herself, so I just, I was like, you know what, and I, not through her, but, you know, like, just metaphorically chucked her in the closet and closed the doors, and she's, like, freaking out in there. I'm like, you've always wanted to get in the closet, and you've never been allowed. You got your wish. There you go. Have fun. And eventually, eventually she calmed down, and later I went back for her, and she's like, what did I do? I'm like, you know what you did. And then I locked her in the bathroom when we first got here. Oh, you saw that. But I, I think she's forgiving me slowly now, because she's like, this is fun. Is it always going to be like this? No, it's not always going to be like this. No, I did bunny. I rolled out her rug, so now she has something to actually get traction on. It's weird I'm filming, uh, practically filming her while she's in the bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, that is the end of moving day one. Tomorrow is going to still be very busy. But, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. That's all for now. Keep living the Froglings life, and we shall see you tomorrow. Bye.